Hello, welcome. It's Bill Sklodowski. Time for another What's New Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. Um, if this is your first time, every Wednesday we do something that's uh, new and uh, maybe fun and cool and different for your iPhone or iPad. And then, of course, Fridays is iPhone Friday with a little bit of a more instructional thing about how you can better use your iPhone for personal use or small business. I, I have a lot of uh, students and friends who use them for, for both. Of course, for personal use, all of us. And then for business, got a lot of those too. So uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, today, headline, big changes coming to your iPhone and soon. Talk about that in a moment. If this is, again, your first time, uh, join us every Wednesday and Friday. And if you've been here before, well, please feel free to share this uh, with friends and colleagues who might get some benefit out of it. If you're watching this on Facebook, where they first appear live, you can use the little share button down there in the corner to share it out to friends, and I would certainly appreciate it. If you're watching it on the replay, also cool, too. And we'll talk more about how you can catch up with that as we go, as the time goes. But in case you didn't know, my name is Bill Sklodowski, and like we said, we do a lot to help you with your high-tech life. Well, if you're not a nerd or a geek like somebody in the room, uh, the uh, Apple conference, big they, they call it the WWDC, which sounds like a wrestling federation thing, but it's actually Worldwide Developers Conference, uh, is going on this week at the Apple uh, headquarters, even though they're doing it virtually, like everything else, on video and spreading it out to the whole world that way. They've given us, though, uh, they always have a keynote speech uh, where the big, big time bosses at Apple come out and tell us about all their big plans and everything that's coming. And this year, they really, they really did something that made me sit back and go, wow, that's big. And that is the coming changes to how your iPhone is going to look and work for you when the new version of the iPhone software comes out. In case you didn't know, iPhone software, that's what the iOS stands for. iPhone operating system or iPad operating system, all the same thing. Um, and as you know, the iPad and the iPhone basically use the same software to work. So in the keynote address to this WWDC, this developers conference, Apple talked about how their new version, which will be iOS 14, which will be out and available for you to download and install on your iPhone before the end of the year, uh, they have made some big, big changes. And, and I don't want to go into too much of it here because some people find that a little off-putting and scary. And if you're not a nerd or a geek like me, you might be like, ooh, really? That sounds hard. Actually, what they're doing is very cool and is going to, I think, make using your iPhone even more fun and more interesting and more useful. So I've got a few still photos from uh, the uh, 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 press releases and things that Apple has put out. Let's see if I can get over to them. Here we go. The biggest change, and you probably see it already on the screen, is going to be the ability to use widgets right on your home screen. What's a widget? Well, if you've ever used your iPhone, I mean, if you've used your iPhone at all and you've been here, let's go back to the real iPhone. This is my iPhone I've got here going. If you, you know, you can swipe, you know, right to left to get to the other screens of your iPhone. But if you keep swiping, if you're on the home screen and you keep swiping left to right, you get one more screen of widgets. Right, so this is I have on my widgets. I have uh, my calendar of all my upcoming, uh, you know, events. I've got some news from this Flipboard app. I've got the stock market, which is taking another beating today. That sort of thing. These are called widgets, and basically they are a way to show you useful information, things that you use all the time. Like maybe you use your calendar. Maybe that's important to you for you to keep up to date on what's going on, or the news, or the stock market, or the weather or you just like seeing some pictures or something like that. So those widgets that had been kind of relegated to, to, the, to the last screen there, right, are now gonna be available on the home screen and you are going to be able to uh, program them in a way to show you information you like. So that's what this screen, let's jump over now to the, to the picture, that's what this one is showing here, which if you notice up at the top, there's the weather, or excuse me, there's the, the stock market widget, which shows the price of Apple, of course. There's a, a bigger clock, and then there's just a picture collection down there, and that would show some of the pictures that are on your, on your phone. 
And then there's a couple of other ones, and I'm going to try, let's see if this will work here. If I push the button, there you go. If you have an Apple Watch and you use it to track your fitness, that's what you're seeing up there. You know, how many steps you've taken and have you drink your water today and all that kind of stuff. And then also there's a couple of others where you can do, uh, let me see. Oh, there's the weather widget, for example, up in the corner, up in the upper right. And then your calendar widget there as well. So the bigger, beefier widgets are going to be available on your home screen. And this other picture that I had here also shows their other big announcement, which is the fact that your phone is going to automatically group apps into folders for you, right? So if you've, if you've played with your phone at all, and you know, like me, you know, you have like at the very top row up there, those are folders that contain groups of apps, right? So like if I tap on uh, the news app there or the news folder, it shows all the different news, you know, apps that I have on my phone. That's cool. All right. I like that. And there I've got hundreds of apps. So I have one page that's nothing but folders full of apps. Well, that's cool. But now they're going to change it so that the phone actually does that grouping for you automatically. Yes, you'll still be able to move things around and get it to the way you want it, but this thing that we're seeing here is going to be kind of the new default, and they're also going to have a, a scrolling list of apps in alphabetical order. So if you've ever struggled with trying to find an app, where the heck did I hide that thing that I use? You can scroll through the apps alphabetically to be able to find them much easier, and that's the third big thing they're talking about. Now, all of this stuff is, is, is not happening yet, so don't panic, don't head for the hills. But probably, like we said, before the end of the year, you'll get one of those notices, you know, where your iPhone tells you, hey, you got a software update, um, and it will download and install the new iOS version for your device, iOS 14. To me, for a nerd like me, this is like, oh, how cool is that? More good stuff to play with. For you, it might be challenging, and don't worry, that's what we're here for. <laughs> so when that happens... You can count on the fact that uh, yours truly with uh, What's New Wednesdays and iPhone Fridays will be covering that and helping you through it and getting you up to, up in speed, up to speed and up and running just as soon as possible. So that's cool. So that's a little bit of the What's New Wednesday. I didn't want to leave you just with kind of like, well, gee, Bill, that's great. That's coming. That's way out there. So I did want to give you a couple of actual tips that might be helpful for What's New Wednesday. Um, and so they have to do with the app store and i'm going to dig into that in a second here let's get back to the home screen so here's the thing uh that i wanted to share with you that uh may or may not be uh what's new for you but it kind of is for most people and that is um as you use your phone and as you use the apps on your phone have you ever you know been like really bothered by the fact that the app keeps bugging you to say hey if you love our app would you like to review it in the app store and give us you know four or five star whatever you know please review our app or please like us or please it's a pain right and so i'm going to tell you how you can turn that off also uh, awesome and then one other thing about when you are using apps and i don't know if you've seen this or not yet i'm going to try and i'm going to try and find one that I have not used in a long time. And I think I have not used uh, Slack in a long time. Oh, well, obviously. If you notice, some apps have that little cloud logo next to the name. Like look at Slack or Skype on my screen here. Uh, both of them have that little cloud logo with the little down arrow, right? What that means is if you don't use an app, I think, think it's 30 days don't get me don't don't quote me on that but if you use an if you don't use an app for a certain length of time it will be offloaded from your phone which means basically deleted but it will keep the icon keep all your data you won't lose anything like i if i talked to somebody on slack months ago i'm not going to lose anything but the app itself to free up space on your iPhone is offloaded, which is just a nice way of saying deleted. Even though it remembers all your settings, you don't have to sign, you, nothing. So if you have ever seen this before where, let's tap on the Slack app. If I tap on it, 
See it, look, it starts to re-download it, right? And you may even get a message that says reinstalling a certain app. So it can work either way. It just might do its thing there with the little clock face where it reinstalls the app. Or you might actually get a message that says reinstalling name of app, right? So we're going to be able to, we're going to fix both of those things today with our What's New Wednesday. So let's jump into settings. Big gear, as always, our favorite spot, right? Jump into settings and go scroll down to where you see iTunes and App Store, right? It's the same, you know, it's the App Store where you search for apps and download cool new stuff all the time. Blue logo there with the little white A for App Store. So tap on that guy. So two things. And the first one is in-app ratings and reviews. See that? It's down near the bottom there. In-app ratings and reviews. And it says, help developers and others know about what you think about letting apps ask for product feedback. And you'll notice mine is turned off. <laughs> so you can either toggle that on or off, all right? And if it's off, the apps will be prevented from asking you to rate and review them. Yay. <laughs> now, you can always go back to the App Store and do it yourself. If you're really loving an app and you want to let people know about it, or if you have a problem with an app and you want to hopefully get some help with it or something, you can always go back to the App Store, find the app that you've downloaded, and then leave a review. That's You're not being prevented from doing that. What this does is it prevents the app from automatically popping up one of those annoying little boxes while you're right in the middle of something important and asking you for a review. The next one is the one right beneath it, which is offload unused apps, right? And it says right there, automatically remove unused apps, but keep all documents and data. Reinstalling the app will place back your data if the app is still available in the app store. Well, which means, you know, I, I've, I'm going to say never, and I, you never say never, but I'm going to say I've never seen a case where it's like, oh, this app isn't available anymore. I, I can't remember ever seeing that. Now, there might be with some crazy apps that, you know, are not so, you know, popular or whatever. But you can either, again, toggle this one on or off, okay? I have mine on so that if there are apps that I don't use for a long time, it automatically offloads them saving space on my phone for more important things like, well, you know, cat videos. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but so there you go. Two settings that you can change in settings. Remember, we went back to settings. You know, you're, we always say if you see that big word settings and your smiling face up at the top, you're in the right place. Scroll down to iTunes and App Store. Scroll down to the bottom and the bottom two things there. There you go. In-app ratings and reviews and offload unused apps. So there you go. That's the uh, two big things I wanted to cover. The first one, obviously, there with the um, changes coming to your iPhone. It's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm sure there'll be a couple of bugs and glitches along the way, and they will have to update the uh, iOS a couple of times, you know, real quick. But Apple's very good about that, so we're not going to worry about it. So uh, big changes coming to your iPhone and your iPad. Stay tuned for that. We'll keep you updated here, as we always do. And also how to turn off those annoying pop-ups so that the app stops asking you for reviews. And also, uh, if you want to prevent or allow your iPhone to offload things uh, that you're not using. If you're getting uh, some benefit out of this, if this is being uh, help, if this is being helpful, my English, not so good today. If, you, if this is helpful to you and you would like to make sure that you are uh, clued in to whenever there is a new video uh, coming out, let me invite you over to the website which, as it says right at the bottom of the screen, BillSkladowski.com. On the uh, front page of the site, there's a big button for uh, signing up for our newsletter. And then you will go right to this page, where you will be... Let me get rid of that uh, lower there. Where you will get uh, what it says, every tip sheet and every video for free, delivered right to your inbox. Every weekend, I send out an email to all of our uh, subscribers. And we have over 300. Awesome. Uh, send out an email to all the subscribers that, hey, in case you missed this week's videos, here's the What's New Wednesday video that was this past week, and here's the iPhone Friday video that was this past week. And then I give you a link, and you can just go watch it right on the blog. I, of course, you know, catalog all of them on the blog. And more importantly, I think, if there was a handout, you know, a, a tip sheet or a how-to kind of a thing, 
It's also free and downloadable for you and available right there as well. So very important, uh, very powerful that you uh, get yourself on this email. And, you know, we just literally one email per week. That's all I send out. So there you go. All right. That's going to do it for this week. Again, if you uh, haven't yet, stop over to the blog. Get yourself signed up for the email at BillSkolodowski.com. If you have questions or comments, I read and respond to all of them personally. So you can leave comments here on Facebook. Uh, you can share this video on Facebook. Mucho appreciated. And you can uh, also, if you're on the blog or on YouTube or wherever else, it's all good. So just stop right in. We'll see you uh, Friday for iPhone Friday. Thanks again for stopping by. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.